Derek Guyona, Leyland Ring, uh, Ring, pardon, expected at the plate here in the first inning. Pitch up in the zone, and Barros barrels that one up in the left, so that's a base hit for Texas to lead off the first. So just like Massachusetts in the top half, they won their Southwest Regional that finished up just a few days ago. That was how they punched their ticket to this championship. Guyona sends this one out to deep center. Liam Doyle is there for the first out. He's got a runner at first. One away. He's got to protect with an 0-2 coming, and he slashes that one in the center. That's down. So a couple of base runners here for a pretty potent batting order. Everson, the 16-year-old from Worcester, Mass, ready to go. Breaking pitch is balanced through the left side. That's a base hit. Runner gets the wave around third. Morrow's throw is cut off. And so Southwest, this Texas team, ties it up. This Texas team, which is, they have got quite a supporter section here. That throw gets away from the second baseman. Throw to third is late. And so Texas with a little mojo in the first. Runner on the move. Throw is cut off. That runner at third. That's ring. He stayed put. To see, they were thinking about the safety squeeze. That's popped up. It's the pitcher who attacks that one, and so two away. One deep counts, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, called third strike, outside corner, and Everson gets out of the jam. And they won that rugged East Regional punch. Their first ticket to the Senior League World Series since 2012. Slow roller to the left side. That was a tough one for Barros there. He's gonna need a quick throw. It's underneath his mid. Runner will advance here. And so Massachusetts has a runner in scoring position in a game tomorrow. So you got to play ball for a week to reach the championship game. That's next Saturday. Outside corner, a called third strike and a great spot there for Alvarado. Three one to Doyle is low. That's the first walk issued by Alvarado and Auburn ultimately won there. That championship game four to two would punch their ticket here. And there's another walk. So back to back walks. Bases are loaded. In the middle three one. That's low and that brings in a run. So three straight walks. And it's two to one, Massachusetts. Is it third? Now he takes the mound. One of the reliable arms in the rotation for sure. First pitch to Owen Sens, bounced to the left side, and it's booted. One run comes home. Here comes another two score on the error. And it's a 4 1 lead for Massachusetts. Doyle and Saucier both come home. Gandy trying to put away Morrow. Runner goes to third. That pitch was in tight. Throw to third is late. And so the pressure heightens. One, two. Wave and a miss. Strike three. That's a big punch out for Landon Gandy. Good command of his pitches. Fastball, curveball, change. Here's Matt Friedland. Swing, he hammers that one out to center. Garcia misplays it. Both Massachusetts runners come home. And the lead is now 6 to 1. The 0 2 with two down. That's pounded in the air, back out to center. So Garcia puts this one away. Nice play, and the inning is over. But Massachusetts scores five more runs. In this Senior League World Series, Jordan Ring leads off against Bryce Everson, who's got a whole lot of run support now. 
And you would think pitching with a little courage here. This one into the shallow center, just into no man's land there. And it falls between everybody. Doyle, Goodrich, and then Sins with the last ditch dive effort. One, two, is bounced right back to the mound. Everson wants to start the double play. The second for one on the first. It's a one, six, three double play. Great turn by Owen Sins. Day to catch a flight into Charlotte. Most of the teams arriving Wednesday, Thursday. Way to the miss, Everson faces the minimum here in the second. And so pitching with a little bounce first time. Gandy replaced Andrew Alvarado halfway through that second inning. And he has gotten several hitters to pound his breaking stuff into the dirt. Jaden Soto holds the bag nicely there. If you stay on the winner's side of this bracket, you wind up playing five games in order to win a championship. Martin lifts this one out to right center. That's down for a base hit. So on the ground, that one is off of Alvarado's mitt. And so it caroms into shallow left. So here's that hard hit ball off of Doyle's bat. Alvarado had to react very quickly. This one's into play. Gandy on to first in time. Soto there. Nice job defensively crossing the chalk to make the play. So Attacks that one. Bounces it through the middle of base hit. One run scores. Garcia has trouble with it in center. The second run comes in, and Everson winds up at second. With a large lead again, what does Ortiz do here with one, two? Swings and misses. Good breaking pitch from Gandy, and he gets out of this. Two, one, in the air, out to right. Wiltshire has it lined up. There's one away. We got number two. Number that number the number threes were it's pretty tough there to use on the standardized test. That's on the outside corner for a Colts third strike. Bats next. Attacks the first pitch on the ground over to short. And sends on to first in time. So a one-two-three inning. Oh, Payoff, Morrow bounces it to third. Alvarado there, throws low to first. Soto has done a fine job over at first today. Digs that one out for the first out here in the fourth. Matt Friedland would bat next. Seasons. Two, two, through the left side. That's a base hit for Gandy. But to finish the point, this is the first year from Millbury, Massachusetts. 0 for 2 today. Pounds that one in the air out to right. That pushes Guyona back, makes the catch. Friedland has to head back to first, so two away. And Texas, and they're trying to do something here that hasn't happened. That one bounces away, gets behind ring, and Friedland advances on the wild pitch. Ty Goodrich is the runner now at second. So a little speed there. 3 1 pitch misses. Now there's two runners aboard. So Petritus draws the walk. And again, you got two on. It's been a player who has been on this travel ball circuit for many many years bounces out to ring that retires the side in the fourth Everson just has a really high baseball IQ great command of his pitches issues his first walk of the day and even right there that's a great example of the command fourth inning run around the move again throw down to second skips wide Backed up by Sens. Yeah. 
works the walk. So a couple of free passes in the fourth inning here. So Joe Riccardi walks the first batter. He Gandy hammers this one deep out to left. Morrow makes the catch and the runners stay put. Shut down, shut out innings in the Massachusetts State Championship game. That one hits Jordan Ring. He's at third, Huff at second. Ring just was hit by a pitch. He's at first. Garcia waits on an 0-2. Wave and a miss, strike three. Big out there for Massachusetts. Riccardi coming home. Upstairs, ball four. So that walk brings in a run. It's eight to two. Texas just needed something positive, just plenty of consequential games. Two out, bases full. 0-2 is hit, left side a dive, off the mid of the shortstop. Sens can't pick it up. One run scores, throw to the plate is late. And then the throw over to third gets away and over Freitas' head. So two runs score. On the bouncer to the left side of the diamond, Barros puts it into play. And Texas is back within four. Riccardi delivers a breaking pitch. That one's tapped to the right side. Throw to first is in time. And so after a couple, of, a few walks, a hit batter and a big two run sink. One, two. Breaking pitch. Vaulted in the air over the center of the diamonds. Barros makes the play. One out. One oh to Saucier, the number nine hitter. Popped up. Foul ground, maybe a play. It falls in fair. Tough play for everybody. Guyona was charging hard. And so there's a one out base hit for Saucier. You just have to put it into play. That's he's got a pair of hits, also walked. He scored two runs and he's stolen two bases. So pick it a pair of walks today. Two aboard for Auburn Little League in the fifth. So one out in the fifth. Swing and a miss, strike three. Rodriguez goes off speed, and he fools Ortiz. Frustrated. That's Facing Owen Morrow now, the number three hitter. Slaps it off of the glove of the shortstop. He recovers, throws it late to first, but this one stays in the infield, and that's critical because Saucier is held at third. Parker back. Up in the air, shallow right, inning over, and so Texas strands the bases loaded. Great work by Bradley Rodriguez coming out of the pen. And in that fourth inning when they scored three times, they drew a few walks. One batter was hit. That one runs inside. And so there's a leadoff walk. That's the dreaded leadoff walk, at least for a pitcher. But if you're Texas, in the fifth. From the stretch, there's bouncing ball over to short. Sends, can't handle it. Ring around second, he's going to third. Sends, sticks with it, and the runner is out. So Sends throws Leyland Ring out at third base. Alvarado is aboard. Jazz Huff bounces that one to third. They get the lead runner at second. On to first, throw is late, but there are two outs now for Massachusetts. Boyle is an out away here from tossing a scoreless fifth. That's popped up, shallow center, and it falls. That's a base hit. Everson keeps it in front of him. And Huff stays at second. But Texas putting the ball. One, two on the way. Swing, that one's lifted into left. Base hit. 
Here comes Huff around third. The throw is well wide, and the run scores. Ring advances to second on the overthrow. Alvarado's played it around the leadoff, man. Parker Barros drove in two an inning ago. And it's a four-pitch walk. They're loaded. And a out. 2-2. Two -two. Swing. That one's lined into center. It's falling. And it's down. A base hit. One run scores. Ring around third. Throw is cut off. He scores. It's a one-run game in the fifth. Here we come with a 1-2. Swing and a miss, and Doyle strikes out Barros. He gets out of it. That was a big one. But the damage is done, and Texas scores three more runs. They are back within a run. We got a pen. Big payoff pitch coming to Wiltshire. Swing, strikes it in the air out to center. Huff on his way back over his head. Wiltshire has extra bases. Huff finally tracks it down. Wiltshire around second. Here's the relay to third. Got him at the third base bag. Beautiful relay by Texas. Diaz Simotis. Outside corner called third strike. And Diaz Semito goes down looking. 3 2 again. Swing, ripped, right field, that's a base hit. They try to throw him out at first, a closer play than you would have expected at first glance. Guy. Here's Liam Doyle, who's now on the mound, throw down to first, gets away from the first baseman. Guyona couldn't pick it up cleanly, and so Vardabedian, who Guyona almost threw out at first, is able to get to second after the error. Here comes a one-two. Off speed, outside edge, called third strike. Rodriguez does it again. Came out of the pen in the fifth. Fired up on his way back to the duck. Here comes the lefty, two-two. Swing, that one is hit in the air. Right center field, long run. Wiltshire reaches up and makes a catch. A dramatic catch in right. That saves extra bases. Everson Everson loved it. 2-2. Two, two, slash back out to right. Wiltshire charged it the other way. That's in for a base hit. It's a one-out single for Leyland Ring. It's team in Alvarado. Talented hitter. Throw to first. They got him picked off. What a move by Everson. And Ring, he kept tempting. Right there, and it does look like Ring slides the index finger on the base before the tag, and you wonder if Martin, his mitt got caught up maybe and slowed down by the dirt, and Stevens just signaled to the infield that the call is overturned. Two, two, swung at and missed, strike three, two away. That's Leyland Ring. Oh, two to Huff. Swings, skies it. Right field, Wiltshire started back, underneath it, and he makes the catch have combined to hold them scoreless the last three frames. And yet they still have the lead. Saucier with a single to start the seventh, the second of the day. He is true to his reputation here. Old Entertaining first game of the day. Payoff. Everson swings and misses strike three. That is the fourth strikeout for Rodriguez. 0-1. That's in the dirt. Knocked down, but bounces away from Jordan Ring. That's his cousin. And Saucier advances to second. 
That one slapped into the air. Right center gap, long run for the center fielder. That one splits the fielder as it's down. Runner had to stop at second base. Now he's coming around third. Saucier scores. It's a big late inning extra base blast for Owen Singh. Sins put it into play, and now another single here. Scores Saucier. Owen Morrow knocks him in. It's 10 to 7. And these Auburn Little League bats, they were held on the winner's side of the bracket and would face the Southeast Region champs tomorrow. That one's in the dirt, bounces away. Morrow advances to second. Payoff. Swing that's up in the air. Should be playable. Now here comes a hard charge here by Huffy makes the catch. Two away. Wilcher nubs that one. It's off the end of the bat. Rolls to second. Wilcher out by half a step. But Massachusetts adds two critical insurance runs. And it's taken a three-run lead to the seventh inning. There are three. Something over the middle. That should. Oh, that one misses low and in. So a four-pitch walk for Rodriguez, who uh, did some. Payoff above the letters, ball four. So Everson has walked the first two batters he's faced, and the tying run is coming to the plate. Have one final mighty comeback in it. 0-2, oh, oh, swing and a miss, strike three, one out. Joshua Garcia has had a great day at the plate, is coming up. Breaking pitch, falls in, called third strike. That's Everson, sixth strikeout. About 30 minutes after this one is done, Canada and Aruba. 2-1 hammered down the line, that's fair. Extra bases for Barros. One run coming around to score. Ring slides into third safe. It's a run scoring double. Texas is still alive. The tying run is in scoring position. Parker Barros. Guyona, 0 for 4 today. Swings, attacks, lines this one into right, a base hit. One run scores. Wiltshire the throw. Relay to the plate. It's late. Texas with a two out rally. They tie it up in the seventh. Guyona with his first hit of the day, a sharply hit single to right, and it scores both Ring and Barros. We are knotted up at 10. Once down seven, it's a tie game. And how about the two clutch hits coming? What a seventh inning here for Texas. 1-1, that one is hammered. That's out to left. Morrow underneath makes the catch. But Texas forces extras. And is what amounted to three innings of work. This one's popped up over the right side. Diasamito is retired. And these, these Massachusetts hitters, they have struggled with, you know, putting the barrel on the ball against Rodriguez. There's two out. Liam. Tie game. Base is empty, two out. Rodriguez looking for a one, two, three. Swing and a miss, Bradley Rodriguez. As they try to walk it off after erasing a seven run deficit in the early innings, Alvarado puts it into play over to short. Scooped at first. Nice play by Martin, one away. So Alvarado aired in the order of whatever team is up. 1 1, that one struck to the left side once again. 
Wide throw, and Huff is aboard. That one got into the dugout area, so he's awarded second base. So Bradley Rodriguez, only fitting that he's up here, swings at the first pitch. Is it playable? Is it playable? Martin makes the catch. There's two away. In foul ground, no less. Runner on the way to third, and that's going to be a balk. So he throws to an unoccupied base. Yeah, the runner, Jazz Huff, is going to be awarded third. So he took off before the pitch was thrown. Sins had kicked his leg. He notices the runner, but the eighth. Ring trying to bring home the winner run. In there, called third strike. Inning over, we go to the ninth. Owen sends the frame with a runner at second base. That runner is the is the player scheduled to bat last in that inning, or the batter who uh, was out of the seventh to force extras. And here we go with a runner at second. Morrow decides to move him over to third quickly. The bunt works. Patrick Saucier sacrifices Reyes over to third. Now he's just 90 feet away from scoring. Next pitch is upstairs. It's still Bradley Rodriguez on the mound. Rodriguez, three and a third innings of work. He struck out five. He's allowed just one run. Everson swings, hacks it into shallow left. That one is caught. Reyes tags. Garcia's throw to the plate. Off target. Runner is safe. Jordan Ring saying that he was able to corral it and then caught the pant leg of Reyes. Been out away, even with the runner in scoring position. Payoff. That's upstairs. So, two out walk. And Massachusetts has another base runner here. Breaking pitch in there for a cold third strike. That's Rodriguez's sixth strikeout of the afternoon. We go to the bottom of the ninth with Texas trailing one. It's by one. Owen sends back on the mound. First pitch. That's in the dust. Gets away from the catcher. And Garcia, after one pitch, is 90 feet away. Here with the infield in and a runner at third. 3-1. Swing, that one is drilled out to center. Emerson makes the catch. Runner tags, throw, bounces near the mound. Relay is late, we're tied at 11. So Texas answers. And brings home that runner at second base. And they've also got a couple of outs to work with here. Scored three in the home seventh to force extras. Here we are, 11 apiece in the ninth. Swing, foul tip in a mitt. Strike three, so two gone in this ninth. Another payoff. That one is hammered. Through the middle, that's a base hit. It's a four-hit day for Parker Barros. Four for six today. He's also driven in three runs. Bottom of the seventh. Sends coming home. Misses again. Runner on the move. Throw a second. It's late. Wow, all of a sudden, Texas is maybe a base hit away from walking it off. Once again, second baseman holding on the runner. There's an open hole. There's a bouncer. Back up the box. Base hit. Barros getting a wave around third. Here comes the throw to the plate. Off line. The tag. Late. Texas wins. Lightning strikes twice. This time he delivers the walk-off winner in nine innings. Texas moves on after the opening round thriller. It stays on the winner's side of the bracket and it faces South Carolina tomorrow, the Southeast region champs.
What a thriller to start this tournament. Game one of many. And lightning strikes again. Guyona with the two-run single in the bottom of the seventh that tied things up to force extras. And then it's the base hit to score Parker Paros around third. Everson with a just a mighty throw here to try to throw the runner out. The tag is late. In fact, they never get Barros. And Texas once down seven runs early in this game. They also went into the bottom of the seventh down three runs. Win it 12-11.